Welcome back to another edition of Cranky Gun Reviews. Today I'm <clears throat> talking a little bit more about my um, pattern collecting and my gun collection. I started this um, last week, I think, where I was talking about handguns. So the two types of guns that I always wanted since I was a kid was a lever action rifle and a revolver. So you guys have already seen my revolvers. You know, I love revolvers. If you watched any of my videos on my channel, um, a couple years ago, I picked up this nice old worn out, what I think is kind of worn out, but looks awesome. Sears model 54 in a 3030 lever action. From what I understand, these were actually made by Winchester and they have a couple of differences. The number of screws that are on the side plates are different and the uh, this front barrel band or the front grip band is different than the Winchester Model 94's. But just like the Model 94 they have the top ejection port um, and the wood on them isn't quite as nice. This one's a little bit beat up. I picked this one up. Um, it's actually pretty expensive from what I figured. Uh, I think I paid either 325 or 375 bucks for this thing used but from what I can tell it was not very you know very um, worn it just wasn't stored very well so the bluing on the sides isn't terrific you can kind of see some pitting there in the bluing but overall it functions flawlessly it shoots great um, great little carbine rifle and again it's 30 30 so I just got some here to look at. These are Herder's brand um, soft tip. But this was one of the guns, this style gun was one that I always wanted when I was a kid. So that was my first lever gun. And like I said, that one shoots fine. I've put, I don't know, a bunch of different kinds of ammo through it. 174 grain, I think, or 158 grain, something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but I've shot a bunch of stuff, PPU, Herders, uh, Remington, Winchester, and it handles everything. I mean, it's a lever gun. How can you go wrong with it? And it is a side gate loader, just like the Winchester. So let me just drop it over here. Um, you can see, again, the wood's a little bit beat up. The finish is scratched and things like that. But to me, that kind of stuff adds character. It doesn't bother me. It does have the little safety under the lever, so unless this lever... See this little button right here? Unless the lever is completely pushed down, you can't pull the trigger. So try pulling the trigger without pushing the lever down. And if you push the lever down, the trigger engages. Um, like I said, it has a side loading gate here. So you just push the rounds in into the tube. It's either a 5 plus 1 or a 6 plus 1. I can't remember off the top of my head. But overall, I mean, it's been a great little shooter. It looks great. It handles great. It's nice, heavy. Um heavy rifle for what it is so not too much recoil even though it does have a steel butt plate but it's been a great gun this one is a Henry I think it's the Henry classic lever action 22 uh, this is a carbine as well and you know similar design to the the uh, Sears model 54 except this one is a side ejection instead of a top ejection um, but in true uh, Henry style, it is unbelievably flawless in how it shoots. And I think it's a uh, model number H1001. Like I said, I think it's called the classic model. And I've had this one for just over a year. I think I bought it in um, 2016, right before Black Friday. Cabela's had an incredible sale on these things. I think it was two it was either two twenty nine or two forty nine for this, which was like seventy five dollars cheaper than even Dick Sporting Goods had it when it was on sale. And the wood on these is just absolutely gorgeous. It's smooth. The action on this thing is just buttery smooth. The trigger is nice. Um I do have a shooting video of this up that you guys have probably already seen. Um but that's uh that's kind of it for pattern collecting part two lever guns and again it's the term pattern collecting is basically just talking about getting a type of rifle or a type of handgun that you like and the pattern you like in this case it was a lever gun and just getting it for the pleasure of shooting it and having fun so i have two lever guns and 
I don't really plan on getting any more. I know Marlins are a little bit better for hunting because they're easier to put scopes on. And, you know, in true fashion, it would be great to have a Henry hexagonal barrel versus the round barrel carbine. Maybe eventually I'll get one, but I didn't want to spend like $450 on a 22 lever action. I don't shoot it that often. I Again, I just got it for the, the nostalgia of it, but that's pattern collecting part two. My Sears Model 54 and my Henry H001 or 1001, whatever the number is, 22 lever action. Thank you.